Hello guys, my name is Cameron and welcome to Space Talk Gaming and it is that time of the month again where we look at my predictions and what matches are going to be on the WWE pay-per-views. This week's Roadblock End of the Line. Uh, the only reason it's shit, Roadblock End of the Line is because Roadblock was in like March. They had Roadblock in March, so you know, I don't see why they didn't just name it a new pay-per-view or whatever, but whatevs. So, first match is on the kickoff. Rusev versus Big Cass. I've got Big Cass winning this. Um, it, honestly, it could go either way, but I, I have Big Cass winning this. Also, tribute to the troops was last night, and announced today was a United Kingdom UK title, and it's going to have a tournament in January, Announced, and it was announced by Triple H today, uh, and they announced the 16 competitors. I don't know the exact 16 competitors. I don't remember their names. I don't really know who they are either. They're like random indie people, but it's kind of a cool thing. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to try to do this in the order I think they're going to go. Uh, Cruiserweight Championship Triple Threat Match, Rich Swan versus Brian Kendrick versus TJ Perkins. I have Rich Swan retaining, and I have him pinning Brian Kendrick. Uh, I feel like, I feel like it's gonna be Swan who's gonna kind of betray TJ in a way. He's gonna wait until TJ hits maybe a detonation kick or something on Kendrick, and then throw him out of the, out of the ring. Or something's gonna happen where TJP is gonna go down and Kendrick is gonna get hit by something from Swan and Swan's gonna get the pin and retain the title. Um, the New Day versus Sheamus and Cesaro for the WWE Raw Tag Team Championships. I have Sheamus and Cesaro winning. Now that the New Day have broken the record, there's no point for them to keep the titles. No offense to the New Day and to their fans, but I just don't see a point to them having it anymore. The whole point of them keeping them was to break the record, and they've now broken that record as of Tuesday. Uh, they hit 479 days, and by the time the pay-per-view rolls around, they're going to be in about 483? No, wait. 479 on Tuesday. Yesterday was 480, 481 today, 482 tomorrow. 43, 44. They're going to be at 484 days by the time... Uh, Shit. By the time Sunday rolls around and they're for the championship match. Uh, shit, what's the next match? Sami Zayn versus Braun Strowman. This is actually, I think this is going to come before the tag team title match. Braun Strowman, no offense to Sami Zayn. I, lo I love the little bastard and he's amazing and he's an awesome wrestler, but there's no way he's winning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I feel like they're going to wait to pull some big guy like uh, Samoa Joe or something up from NXT and have him versus Braun and beat him. So yeah, so I have Braun Strowman winning this, no doubt. Uh, no offense to Sammy, but it's not gonna happen, bro. Uh, Raw Women's Championship 30 minute Iron Man match. I have Sasha Banks beating Charlotte and I have the exact number of predictions for wins and for each of them. I have Sasha winning over Charlotte, four wins to two wins. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they're going to get the wins. I'm, I'm going to say for Charlotte's, one's going to be a natural selection for a pin, and the other's going to be a figure eight. And then I think with Sasha's, it's going to be uh, all, all four of them bank statement, no doubt. Uh, either that, actually, no, no, three of them are going to be the bank statement, and one of them is going to be the double knees to a pin. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, this is how I think it's going to go. I, they could add another, they're probably going to add some more stuff on the kickoff show, uh, maybe a cruiserweight match, a three-on-three -three cruiserweight match, because we don't see that enough. Um, and finally, the final match, the Universal Championship match, Kevin Owens versus the United States Champion, Roman Reigns. Kevin Owens. They're not giving, oh wait, no, I forgot a match, sorry. Uh, I'll get to that one after this. Uh, they're not going to give Roman double championships, no offense to him, but it's just how it's going to be. Um... I definitely feel like Chris Jericho and Seth Rollins are both going to be there cheering on their friend, but I, I, there's just, there's no way Roman's winning this. I, no offense to him, but I, I think they're saving it up for somebody big. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna have it be swapped fast. Watch me eat my words on this. If, if Roman ends up winning, I'm gonna fucking be in so much shock. Um, and finally, Seth Rollins versus Chris Jericho. I have Seth Rollins winning this, even with possible shenanigans from Kevin Owens. I feel like Roman Reigns is gonna be there and stop Kevin from cheating. Uh, and then eventually Seth Rollins is going to get a pedigree and then he's going to pin 
uh, Chris Jericho has Kevin Owens watches for like the billionth fucking time. Unless they're still rocky on their friendship, in which case then it's just gonna be you know him pedigree and Chris Jericho and it's over. But those are the predictions for Roadblock end of the line. Um, stay tuned, probably Sunday, Monday morning, somewhere around there, and I will be uploading the video uh, of the review, uh, telling you guys who won each match, what I thought of the entire pay-per-view as a whole, um, and yeah, uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, stay golden, peace.